you know how you do the L, the foot adjustment? Mm -hmm. Nobody had ever done that on me before. I tried to do it. I'd love to learn how to do that. Doc, why are you here? What's up? So I've come to see you today, Dr. Mark, from Woodland Hills, because I'm not getting the relief from my other healthcare providers. Um, I appreciate you coming up to visit me. It's kind of a distance, but thank you. It's worth it. You're so worth it. The last few times I've seen you, you've isolated my pain and the condition. You've been able to address it directly. And the adjustments you've given me have okay. held and Ready? Ready? left me pain-free. Where I've seen other doctors and I get temporary relief, your work has been profound for me. You're doing things that I'm not finding other chiropractors in our profession are doing. And I appreciate you taking the time and explaining what it is you do. I find you to be really generous with yourself and really caring. Quick question, why perform any muscle testing or exam at all? Push out for me. Push out. Push towards So none of the muscles in the doctor's body are working. And that tells me that she's having a global weakness. And so what I first do is I put a tongue depressor in her mouth to gap her jaw. Then we're gonna go back and check the muscles and see if that's her problem. But that's not it. We're looking for the segment that's gonna turn on all her muscles, her lower body muscles and her upper body muscles. No, you're good. You're very good. Now in the past, it's been the doctor's C1 that's been out. So I mobilize C1 and then go back and check her muscles. And guess what? That's not it either. So I go back and now I check C7, and that's not it. Then I go back and check C2 and C3, and that's it. There that's it the segment that fires up all her muscles, and that's the segment we're going to adjust. Okay, you're good. Okay, you're good. Doc, push up for me. Wonderful. Go. Great. Just sensitive. Go pull, Doc, go. All right, that's a problem. Here I want to check some other tests, so I have the doctor make a left fist and see if that corrects this weak hip flexor that she has, and it does not. Then I try something called the optokinetic tape. I want to see if that causes that hip flexor to fire up, and it does. So that's the treatment I'm going to perform on her. So Doc, uh, as always, you've been great in my life and been a great friend and you communicate your ideas to me, which I appreciate and you always give me input about my office and my decor. Like feels better. Sorry about all the pain I caused you in this scene. <laughs> oh. I know it was traumatic, but it was necessary. It was Dr. Mark, nobody's ever done this before. <laughs> <laughs> now go walk and yeah, go. Doctor, let me pull your foot. You, you were trying, right? I was. Go. Try again. Try again. Don't push. There we go. Oh, that kills. You want me to lighten up? No. <laughs> that comes way towards me. I won't let you fall, as always. Come on, come on, let's see. And you need a little bit hot. It feels so different in a valuable way. Um, the, the ilium and the sacrum are moving independent rather than as one unit. You're good, doctor. Thank you. <laughs> you're excellent. I'm glad you're feeling better, doc. I hope it continues. I look forward to seeing you next time.